Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Adeze and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys as always. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about reasons why women do not leave you know, situations of domestic abuse, okay? Reasons why women do not leave abusive relationships. We're going to be analyzing it in this video. We're going to be analyzing some reasons why some women still stay, okay? I like to understand the reason why people do the things they do, okay? I like to understand how people think, what are their reasons. Because at the end of the day, so many people do things because it makes sense to them, okay? It either makes sense to them or they try to rationalize it somehow or they have reasons behind why they do things they do, okay? Except the person is actually insane or whatever. Even an insane person has reasons in their head why what they are doing is the right thing. So me seeking to understand the reasons why people do the things they do doesn't mean that I endorse what they do or I agree with it. I don't have to agree with what they do, but at least I try to understand where they are coming from. I think it just makes us more empathetic as humans and it also makes us you know give each other a break okay <laughs> so i like to give people a break <laughs> so yeah in this video i'm going to be addressing more of physical abuse okay they both all these reasons can work for emotional abuse as well but why i'm addressing physical abuse more is because with emotional abuse one of the biggest reasons is that women don't even realize that they're being emotionally abused which is a whole you know different story <laughs> entirely okay many women not even understand that this particular thing is emotional abuse because the signs are not so clear cut you know but for physical abuse i mean <laughs> and because of how obvious physical abuse is it's sometimes unheard of or unthinkable like i'm sure when you hear some situations you're like why why the hell did she still stay there if it were me if it were i or what a mo a me ke ah they have not born the man they have not even born the man's father that would try this rubbish with me okay but yeah that's for you okay and in this video i'm going to be addressing the reasons why women stay and i'm also going to be addressing reasons why i stayed in an abusive relationship okay yes yes I stayed in one and I am going to tell you guys my reason why. So if you would like to know them, then please keep on watching. Alright, so the first reason why I feel a lot of women do not leave abusive relationships is because they lack self-esteem, okay? They have a very low sense of self-worth. They really have been battered as human beings. They feel like they are not worth anyone better they don't even know what the idea of they don't even have an idea of what better should be and even when they have an idea of what better should be they feel like they don't deserve better and this does not just start with the person that they end up with or the person that is abusing them it starts from their childhood many of them do not have better examples of how a father should be a lot of men have seen their fathers battering their mothers and that's one of the reasons why i say women should not stay in an abusive relationship because of the kids because you are trying to give this child a false sense of family but at the same time you don't know that you're destroying that child's, you know, self-esteem. You're teaching, you're teaching your sons that it's okay for them to hit their wives. And you're teaching your daughters that it's okay for them to stay in a relationship where they are being hit or where they are being, you know, abused. So yeah, lack of self-esteem. These women feel like this man has done them a favor. You know, being married trumps everything in this entire universe. Once you are married, your life is automatically somehow better, even though it's not. You know, these women feel like marriage is all and all. They have to be there. They have to endure because, you know, the man is doing them a favor. Do, they, do you want them to go back to being single and not having anybody? They rather, they rather stay with such person than to be out there without anybody. Like, their life is over. And because a lot of them see people who are single, like, ah, they feel sorry. Imagine, a lot of these women feel sorry for people that are single. So, in their mind, like, he's beating me, but it's better. Like... Anyway, you know, some of them even try to rationalize it like, well, he's just beating, at least he's not cheating, or even if he's cheating, at least he still, come, he still comes back to me every night, at least I'm still bearing his name, I'm still the mother of his children, I still have a ring on my finger, where's your own ring? <laughs> like, to you guys, that is, 
I find like that's the most unfortunate reason I can't even think of. Like, it is so unfortunate. It is so, so sad because this is a vicious cycle, okay? How can a mother who lacks self esteem raise a child who will not lack self esteem, okay? What is she going to instill in that child? What is she going to teach that child? What is an abusive man going to teach, you know, his sons, even his daughters? Yes, because women can be abusive too. But in this video, we are only addressing women, uh, we are only addressing. Uh, women who stay in abusive relationships, okay? But women can be abusive too. And also the reason why we as parents have a lot of work to do. You may not be in an abusive relationship yourself, but the way you train your child can actually set them up to be, you know, recipients of this abuse and to stay there when they receive it. So now the second, and I think this one is the second most um, popular reason why people stay in abusive relationships, okay? And the reason is because of finances. Yes, he's a rich man, he's rich, I am poor, I don't have any money, I don't have a good job, or I don't even have a job at all, I don't have a good business, I don't have a business at all, what will I do if he leaves me, where will I get money from, how can I sustain this lifestyle I'm already accustomed to, how can I take care of my kids, how can I take care of myself, how can this, how can that, it's not better for me to just stay. <sighs> that is so sad. See, life is more important than money okay once there is life you'll be able to get money everybody needs a source of income every single person on earth whether you're a male or you are female you need a source of income okay now personally i am not against stay at home moms i'm actually a stay at home mom if you really think about it i'm actually a stay at home mom i'm not against stay at home moms at all i'm not against you not working i'm not against you staying at home to take care of your kids in fact i applaud it and I advise more women that if you can, please stay at home and take care of your kids. Because at the end of the day, somebody needs to be at home to take care of these kids. If it's not you, it's going to be your husband. If it's not your husband, it's going to be your mate. It's not your mate, it's going to be your relatives. It's not your relatives, it's going to be the society. But somebody is going to train your children, whether you like it or not. Now, do you want to be the person or do you want the society to be the person to, to be the people to train your children, okay? So, yeah, I am not against being a stay-at-home mom. But at the same time, you should have something to fall back on you should have savings if you're married to a rich man collect the money yes collect that money and save it do not say oh well um he takes care of me so i don't really need to work i don't need to do anything uh, yes you don't need to work but you need to collect that money and save it if he if he doesn't give you cash but he's always buying you expensive gifts sister go and sell those gifts and keep that money in an account and invest that money okay i'm all about investment and savings especially as a stay-at-home mom or as someone who doesn't really have a job or even if you have a job because some women that say oh i have a job i have a nine to five if your husband leaves you today hmm, that on nine, that on nine to five that's not to even feed you don't talk of feeding your children or even paying their school fees and you know we all know ourselves okay so even though you have a job even though you have you know a business some of you you have a business your husband is the one paying her shop rent he's the one paying your for your utilities he's the one uh, stuck in your shop each year it's almost like the shop is just for there for fans you know in your heart you're not really making any real um income okay yeah so if you're in that kind of situation i know that this is my business this is my job is not doing well for me you better have backup plan because if anything happens you need to have something to fall back on and when you have something to fall back on it is easier for you to make more logical or more sensible decisions than when you have nothing to fall back on okay a lot of women have stayed in relationships a lot of women have died in relationships because they know that outside there there's nothing for me i don't have money i don't have job i don't have sense you know there's no, nobody to fall back on and yeah so Anyway, you have to get one. If you don't have money, at least have sense to go and save money and to invest money, okay? I, I'm trying I'm trying not to be harsh in this video, but sometimes I just, it will just come out. So, I apologize in advance if any harshness comes out. But sometimes I need to just, you know, reiterate these things. Because I think we as women, sometimes we forget, you know, we are in la-la land. Romance and everything has carried our head away. We are now forgetting that there is a real life and there are real consequences for um things that happened in real life okay so the third reason is what will people say what will people say what will people think what, what am i going to say to them so when i go now my enemies will start laughing at me everybody will now say ah maybe she has gone she has come back a lot of people in abusive relationships have burnt their bridges they have isolated themselves a lot and that's one thing about abuse both emotional and physical the abusers most times try to isolate their victims because when you isolate your victim you can perpetrate your act 
better without any interruption from the outside world so they try to isolate their victims they try to make their victims feel like don't need the outside world like people out there everybody's just against you i'm the only one here who really loves you forget that i'm beating you forget that i'm abusing you i actually love you i'm actually here for you so cut everybody out they are not good for you they are only here to put bad ideas in your head they are only here to destroy your marriage they are not happy for you your single friends are not happy for you even your married friends they wish they were married to me so you better stay away from everybody and just cling to me i don't want to see your social media i don't want to hear talking to anybody i don't want to see any anybody i don't want to see you chatting with anybody you're just here to exist because of me and that is why a lot of women do not leave because they don't have anywhere to go to and they feel like the whole world is going to laugh at them do you know that in some cases fathers mothers tell their children you cannot come back where do you want to come back to you cannot stay here you have to go back to him yes he beat you the next time stop doing what's what made him beat you stop doing it it's your, it's your default it's your, it's your fault you're the cause maybe if you didn't talk too much maybe if you didn't say that maybe if you didn't and that's, that's the next time that my brain okay if a woman insults you with her mouth oh god what happened to your own mouth why can you not insult her back why do you have to get physical but when you go out there and policemen insult you even assault you physically you will just be there looking when your mates when your army man see you outside and slaps you you'll be telling him sorry sir when your mates are talking and people are yabbing each other you'll be laughing about it but when your wife decides to talk you will not say it's because she talks too much if she, if she reduces what she said if she wasn't talking too much maybe i will not be pitying her maybe i won't cheat on her maybe i won't do this one and do that one you know and that's what many parents are putting in their children's head you are the cause so you have to go back go and apologize to him okay i know him he's not a hot tempered person there's something you must have said that will make him see if you're that kind of parent there eh, i'm sorry for you but you are you are just a, a disgrace to humanity okay you are a disgrace to humanity and my dear brothers and sisters please hustle hustle very well part of the reason why i am making money is not to hand it over to my children i'm not going to hand over money to my children okay something that me and my mom are going to agree we're not we're not creating investments and stuff like that so that when my children will, uh, uh, finish school they'll just take up those things and they don't need to work or they don't need to you know make their own money no that's not what i'm making money for i am making money for myself so that number one my children will not have to take care of me in the future because sometimes some people will think ah if i leave this man that is like i said about finances if i leave this man taking care of me who is going to take care of my parents? He's the one that is taking care of my parents. He's the one that is buying my parents' jobs. He's the one that is, that is buying this and paying my, my brother's school fees. Okay? So at the end of the day, also make money for yourself so that you'll be independent till you die. Like, when you now die, you can leave your wealth and resources for, for the world or for your children or for anybody you want to leave it for. But don't, let's not be that your children are not the ones taking care of you that they don't they not have to accept all kinds of rubbish in this life because they know that without, without them, uh, you'll be finished. Okay? So that's number one reason. Number two reason is that some children feel like between the devil and the deep blue sea so make money or let your children not say ah if i leave this my where did i go to is it my father's house where they, where they have only one room is it my father's house where it's just one room and one window all of us were sleeping in the parlor where would i go back to where would i carry my children now and go back to no my dear let, let that not be our case in jesus name okay i'm not praying for anything bad to happen to my children i'm not praying for them to meet bad husbands or being abusive relationships okay but i'm just saying that life happens it should be a case where if a man abuses you you have your father's house is there you already have a room you have your room you in fact you even have your own house self that your father will rent for you or, or, or give you your father already has a house that's for you already furnished house that if a man tries any nonsense he'll tell you oh yeah my daughter come back home you have look at look at the house here look at a job here look at you know business here look, look at money look at you establish yourself you know until you get back on your feet or something your children will, will not lack anything if you come back okay let's be at those men know that if they touch your daughter first of all you will call the ig the this all the army men they will go arrest him because you already have the money in fact you you will pay their money to arrest him and be giving him good food in prison so that he will not die so that the children will still see him someday in the future okay let the man know that if he touches your child your child is gone like it's not even a, a two way it's not even whether or not she will come back your child is gone like touches your child your child is gone she has a home she has a she has family around her she has money she has everything set up and your children will be there well taken care of okay while they are resting in prison while you are cooling off while you are lowering your temper in prison your children are well taken care of okay let it be let it be that way let's not be that your child is thinking ah if i leave this man <laughs> where am i going back to okay, yeah so a lot of women have stayed in a business relationship because they have nowhere else to go to if they go back home their parents will say you don't see them now we that were, were managing to eat once a day you're not coming back to your children how how are we going to take care of you and your children 
Okay, so that is really really sad, but yeah, that hurts my sister, and my brother, hurts to know, make money, make money, save, invest. Don't be looking at your children to take care of you. Okay, so now the fourth reason, I'm sure many of us know this reason is I am staying because of my children, okay? In so many cases, these women have children for this man. They have built their family. They have built their life around this man. How are they, how are they going to uproot their children now and just take them to someone else? You know, it's better for them to remain with their father. For me, this is a very weak reason, but at the end of the day, you, you know, you can't really blame people for some of the things that they do. Especially in a case where the man is really taking care of his children very well. You know, the woman sounds like, ah, if I stay, well, let me just endure. Let me just endure because if I if I leave now, how will my children feel? My children need a father. My children deserve this. And see, at the end of the day, your children will be fine. Your children will be fine, sister. What of children who don't have father? What of children who their fathers are now dead? Are they not coping? Are they not surviving? So, it is not an adequate reason for you to stay. Like I said, if you stay because of your children, number one, you are going to be teaching those children, you know, the wrong thing in life. And number two, if you die, your children will still survive. Okay, once that man kills you, he will bring another woman into his house and another woman will take care of your children. So, it's better for you to leave now, carry your children and be alive and take care of them somewhere else. Okay? So, that's just my own. That reason to me is a very weak reason. Now, the next one is savior complex i can change him he will change he's not such a bad person he's going to change he can't really control himself they have done juju for him it runs in his family we have been trying to break the yoke the yoke shall be broken he's not exactly like that i will pray for him i keep praying for him things are changed it's not as bad as before my prayers are working one day he's going to stop abusing me because before he used to do it five times a day now it's three times okay you know um, he doesn't really know what he's doing when he's done he apologizes he begs he cries he shows that he doesn't really know what he's doing blah 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 well done man savior of the entire universe voltron <laughs> Well done, my savior. Thank you very much. As 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 Jesus that you are now, as as Jesus, you are the Jesus that we see on earth. Eh? You are the Jesus on earth. He he sent you as his representative on earth. So you're here to save the whole world. My dear, you are just deceiving yourself. Okay? Nobody can be saved who does not want to be saved. Okay? If he doesn't want to be saved, you cannot save him. And you don't even know that's going to save him. It is God that is going to save him. So why don't you walk away first and allow God to do his work? Eh? Why must you be there enduring all the beating and all the abuse just because, you know, he will change. One day he's going to change. You are just making things worse for yourself. Because one day the man is going to kill you and he's going to blame it on the devil. He's going to cry. He didn't know what he was doing. He was drunk. He was high. He was possessed, okay? Those same reasons that you are giving for him to do those things. It's the same reason he's going to kill you and get away with it. And forget, you are in Nigeria, you're not even abroad where uh, uh, justice is very swift and all that. You are in Nigeria, he will kill you and get away with it. He will bribe his way out of prison, okay? That him and that devil are going to exist and he will live for a very long time. So my dear sister, you better walk away. Stay from afar and pray for him okay your prayers will still work whether you're under his roof or under another man's roof or under your own roof please walk away i don't know our society has given women this idea of ride or die you know actually among africans you don't you don't you don't really see white people doing ride or die like that you, know? <laughs> you misbehave i'm gone look at jeff bezos and all that you misbehave i'm gone carry off of your money and they go but it's in nigerian black community in african community african-american community that you'll be hearing things like she's a ride or die chick she was with him when he was smoking when he was drinking when he was womanizing when he was beating her when he was doing this one when he was broke when he was that she was there for him you came yeah she's right or die so whenever he eventually changes his life around then she's going to enjoy the fruit of her labor a lot of women too are there because oh i've already suffered though no woman will take my place no woman will come into my home i am going to enjoy the fruit of my labor in fact, <laughs> we are really going to enjoy that fruit. Yeah, you know the, what the fruit is going to be. You are really going to enjoy the fruit of that your stupid labor. Continue laboring as per labor in the vineyard. Continue laboring until the day you find yourself six feet under. When you turn to manure, then your labor will be complete. Eh? Well done, man.